Hey everybody, Alyssa Moss Weinzimmer. I'm back with another vocal health video. Let's get into it. Let's talk about your lungs and your breathing because chances are that while you've been sick and as you're recovering long term, things might have really tightened up in the rib cage between your ribs here, right? There's these intercostal muscles and things can really start to get rigid in our torso. So we wanna free things up. So we're gonna use a practice that is kind of esoteric in order to get into the lungs. So if you place your hands on the upper lobes of your lungs, your, your lungs have three lobes. The upper lobe is closer up underneath your collarbone. And then the second lobe of your lungs is if you kind of put your hands underneath your armpits, you can get to that. And then I'll get up a little bit higher for you so that you can see that the lower lobe of your lungs is kind of mostly around the back side of your ribs. So we're gonna go into each part of your lungs. And in fairness, people say that because the heart's on the left side of the body that the left side has only two lobes, not three, but we're just gonna say that there are three lobes for the sake of balance and our imaginations right now. So place your hands on the upper lobe of your lungs to start. And first of all, just allow yourself to feel into the lung tissue. It may really feel tight or tense or dense and your lungs actually really wanna be elastic and free and buoyant. So just allow them to be in whatever form of contraction they're in. Allow yourself to meet them where they are. And then as I just demonstrated, when the opportunity comes to allow a nice big breath in, you can allow that. And it can sometimes be helpful to even squeeze a little bit extra on the exhalation because then that, that allows you almost like bending your knees on a trampoline that allows you the spring of the inhalation on the next breath. And what we're going to do now is we're going to start to move and tilt our body in any way that feels good starting to just allow some of the stickiness of the lungs to unadhere to release. And I'll just demonstrate this more quickly. You can spend much longer with this exercise if you like. Maybe bring your hands around to underneath your armpits on the sides of your ribs where the bulk of your second lobe of your lung tissue is. And let's do the same thing, just meeting them where they are, feeling any forms of tightness or contraction in the lungs, squeezing out the breath on the exhalation to allow space for a big inhalation. And then as you like, start to tilt, start to rock, start to move your body to release any adherence, any adhesions, any tightness in the lungs. And then finally, we'll come up to the back of the lungs. So you can reach your hands around the back side of your ribs to the best of your ability. Beginning technique, just meeting this part of your lungs where they are squeezing out on the exhalation to allow in a big inhalation and then starting to move and tilt and tip and of course total bonus as a voice teacher if you want to start releasing some sound with this I highly advocate that <sighs> you can make a little bit of a sigh or a sound it's really, really valuable. I know it's not something that we do often in our society, but it's really valuable to spend some time with these organs in your body to feel what your lungs are feeling like. So spend some time with this exercise, moving your lungs around. The pleura, that is the sac that your lungs are in, can start to get really tight and adhere when they haven't been moving easily for a long time and an exercise like this can really release it. So I hope this makes a big difference for you. And in the next video, we will talk about tension release techniques in other musculature of the face and the neck. See you there.